this video we are going to see how to create 2d characters using powerpoint this is a character image from internet and we are going to see how we can recreate the same character using powerpoint first let's see how we can create the face shape for this i am going to use the circle shape from powerpoint and use uh, the different points so there is an option to edit points i can edit uh, different points in the circle and make the circle sh to fit the sh uh, shape of the face Let's do the same step for ear and hair Now we have the shape ready, so you can see like uh, the hair shape, the face and the ear shape separately. Now let's create shapes for eyes, nose and mouth. Now we have all features in the face. So next fill the shapes with the proper color. I have used uh, uh, here shape fill uh, feature and shape outline feature if you are co uh, uh, confident about the color or you can use the eyedrop um, feature in the powerpoint which used to select the specific color and uh, it will fill the shape. Next add circles and fill the proper color for the eyeballs. Now the face is ready. Now let's see like how it looks if you uh, you know fit the um, body into this face. Um, yep, yeah, it looks fine. So next we can use the same procedure to create the you know shapes of other parts of the body but here uh, instead of that i'm going to use the background uh, removal feature of in powerpoint you know to just get this shirt and trouser uh, uh, for the character from the image i have explained uh, this background removal in another video in detail i have given the link below you can go through it to uh, understand how to use this feature. Now let's get the neck, hand and legs. The character is ready now. 
So this is the exact uh, clone of this same character without the borders. In the next video we will see how to animate the different features of this character. For example, uh, they are how to animate the lip movement, how to animate the eyes, hands, etc. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and add your questions in the comment section.